So, here's what's going down. So, like, two, seven, maybe, days ago, I did a video doing swatches of the Tarte's Rainforest, no, yes, Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2 palette. I'm working on my iPhone, and I literally run six businesses on my iPhone, so, like, I'm constantly running out of space. So, if you want to help me solve that problem, please check out my donations tab down below. I'm trying so hard to save up money and, like, oh, just get new equipment and I can produce and... Anyway. So, I did swatches of the palette, but I never did, like, a first impressions part, even though I said in the video, oh, hey, I'm going to do a first impressions tutorial with that palette. So, here's what we're doing today. We're doing a first impressions with the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea palette. I'm really excited to be doing this first impressions because... I love everything from Tarte and I got this in my August BoxyCharm. This palette is $35. Um, here's what it looked like. I will put a link up, probably maybe I already have popped up to the first impressions, I mean the swatch of the Tarte Rainforest to see, but here's what the palette looks like. And I am so freaking excited to get into doing, like looking and doing this palette. Like, mm, I'm so excited. I already have primer on my lids. Even though it doesn't look like it. So I'm just going to sit here and we're going to do a first impressions with this makeup. I don't have a whole lot of makeup on because after this I plan on going and working out. But I have energy right now and that's why I decided to film this video. So here's where we're at. I'm really stuck at saying the names of these things. Like I'm going to have to like sit here and like look. So I'm just going to tell you I'm like I want to point to the color. So here's the first color that I'm working with right here. That's the first color that I'm working with. And I'm just using a Morphe R40 brush. And I'm just going to tap that all along my lid just to make sure everything's nice and set. Okay, is it me or like, this looks like really like whiter than it does cream. Like it's a very cream color on the palette. My goal is to have the first impressions, like this, why do I keep saying first impressions? My goal is to have the swatches up and then like after that, like upload this video. Like that is my goal. But yes, these are like two separate days. They are like two separate weeks, actually. But that's good. And I'm not going to do a whole face. I'm really not going to do a whole face. I'm just going to do my eyes and see where that goes. But I'm really excited to work with this palette because I love everything from Tarte. And I'm so excited. Oh, I just can't wait to see how this like looks and works with. Okay. So, I just set my lids with Conk which is this shade right here. And for some reason, it looks whiter than I expected it to. Like, it looks like I just put, like, a light coat of white on my lid. But, hey, that's okay because it's okay. <laughs> so, next, I'm going to go with this light brown right here. This is shade Marina. And I'm going in with a Marfi, Marfi, with a Marfi M518. And I'm going to use this as a transition shade. I'm just lightly bouncing my brush in there. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I'm just lightly bouncing in my um, whatever brush. And I'm going to use this as a transition shade. Hmm. Hmm. Why does this look green? No, but seriously, guys. This looks green. Like, in case you didn't see the video, here's a swatch of the brown. It's not the most attractive of browns. It is definitely not. Um, I do have to say that this looks very green to me. Um, I mean, it applies nice. It's, it's kind of pigmented, but it looks like a bruise in all honesty. Um, that's weird. Why? It looks like I just put like green on like a, a like a bruise is healing. It looks like that color. It seems to be blending out pretty okay. Um, it doesn't, I don't know, the color has got me off guard. Like now I'm like, what? Cause the color's so strange. Like right here it's blending out fine, but it's not like, this is, I don't know. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna talk about the blending too much, just for the shade. Cause, just cause the shade has me so off guard. Okay, just blended that out. I'm gonna get me 
find me. First of all, I'm going to find myself a crease brush. Hmm, this is, I don't even know. I'm going to grab this shade right here, which is this dark brown. You can't even see. I'm going to grab this dark brown right here. This is shade Seaside. That's pretty. That's like a toasted almond color. Very pretty, light toasted. Definitely, I just like saw this. I'm like, oh my gosh, fire winter. It's very light brown, but it's making a really nice crease shade. So here's where we're at. I, I don't know. I really, really, really don't like this marina color. I kind of feel like it just, it may, it's making me look sickly and bruised. I don't like that color at all. That's okay because it looks not over yet, so maybe we can still save it. Hmm. I think I'm going to go in now with Siren, which is this dark brown. And I've just got, this is like Naked 2 or Naked 3, the, the brush that came with either of those palettes. And I'm just going to tap on the outside of my corner. Okay, there's actually not a lot of fallout, which is, that's great. There's not a lot of fallout at all. Which I kind of expected for these darker shades. That's pretty. That's a pretty brown. It's definitely very dark. It is a very dark brown, which is nice because I just used three different shades of brown. And you wouldn't even be really able to tell that they're like three different shades of brown. Like, it's very different is the word I'm trying to look for. It's very different. I'm just going to go back in and blend out a little bit. Keep trying to remember to come in close to you guys. Okay, this shade, this, what is that, Siren? That blended out really nice. This is giving me a nice smoky eye. That blended out really nice. Okay. Still mad about Marina, which is that bruise color, but everything else seems to be working out very nice. Oh my goodness, that blended out very well. Okay. Oh my gosh, look how pretty this is. Oh my goodness, that's pretty. Okay. Oh my god, that's really pretty. Okay, I was really thinking that I was going to be disappointed in this palette just because of that one shade marina right here. I want to call it baby poop brown like I did in the first video, but I'm I'm not going to. Um, yeah, but so far, okay, the other shades that I've used besides marina, they blend really easy, they're really pigmented, and there's really like no fallout whatsoever. So yeah, heart. Okay, now I'm going to spray some setting spray onto the packing part of the naked brush that I'm using. Hmm, and I think I'm going to use this gold shade right here, which is Sunset. And let's see how this goes on. Oh, <laughs> here's how my life and luck are going. I'm going to try. I, I don't even know. Okay, so the tripod thing that I use to hold my camera up to my tripod, this is like, this is just a selfie stick attachment. That just shattered, um, which cut out my video early. So, so I'm going to have to hold up my camera for the rest of this video. But here's where we're at with the review. Maybe it'll be easier to list like this. Okay, so, so far, I found that the metallic, I don't even know where the last video cut out. But I'm hoping it was just the metallic part. So I found that the this metallic was a lot more yellow than this gold shade. I also found that it wasn't very metallic um, and that I had to put a lot on to get any pigment out. Right now I'm working on putting on a black. I have to use my camera now to put on makeup because I can't hold the mirror and apply makeup and all that at once. So here we are with the black. This is shade... Riptide, which is that black shade right there. And I'm seeing so far that I am having some fallout. I'm just smoking this out. Um, it's not super pigmented. I've had to go on 
a couple times just to get some pigment out of it. But if you can see, there is a small amount of fallout. Not a whole lot, but if, I pay, if I'm paying $35 for an eyeshadow palette, I expect there to not be a whole lot of fallout, especially when I can get an eyeshadow palette for like $12 that doesn't have a whole lot of fall, fallout. And I'm talking about Coastal Sins. Yes, I am. Okay, so I'm just using that to line my eye with. So here's the look that we've created so far. And just, I'm going to add a pop of pearl, which is that lovely white shade in the inner corner. What? What just happened? Oh my god. Okay, there we go. Cleaning it up, that's not really, that's not really true to color, is it? If we just had to clean it up. That's also not very metallic. That's kind of just white. I kind of just put white in my inner corner. And I always like putting a highlight in my inner corner. I really want to see if it's really... Okay, that doesn't have too... It's not like super glow at all. But it does have some... A little bit luminous... Why can't I say that word? Lumosity to it. This isn't bad. I... Okay, overall... I really don't know how much of the other video caught, like what caught and what didn't. I'm not super impressed with this palette. I found that like, there were only two shades. I used, in order just to do this eye look, I used all these shades in this palette. I used every single shade in this palette to do this eye look. There are only two shades that I really like, which is this dark brown color right here. Um. Okay, so I like Siren. I like breezy and I like Riptide but Riptide is kind of like it it does have a lot of fallout and it wasn't really pigmented especially for black and if I'm paying $35 for an eyeshadow I expect the pigment in the eyeshadow like the black to be super pigmented I'm really sorry that this video isn't the best of quality but I'm having a lot of technical difficulties and it would literally mean the world if somebody like even donated a dollar because right now all the money that I'm making off of any job or any business I'm using to support my family so I'm kind of just doing YouTube as a side hobby but it's my dream to like make this into something and impact as many lives as I possibly can <sighs> that's it I wasn't really impressed with the metallic the gold I felt like a lot of the shades on the palette look very different than how they actually apply which isn't amazing either like I felt like this gold is very sunshiny gold whereas the palette makes it look very like gold goddessy kind of gold if that makes sense but I hope you guys like this video I'm sorry if it wasn't like the best quality I feel really bad but I always love hearing from you guys and I'm going to have videos up all the time once everything gets worked out with all my technical problems. As always, I love hearing from you all and I'll see you in my next video.